Welcome to the Verify Pipeline Execution 15.8 kickoff. My name is James Heimbach, Product Manager for the Pipeline Execution Group here at GitLab. As a reminder, this group is responsible for GitLab CI, Pipeline, Pipeline Processing, as well as the category of Merge Train. Uh, you'll find a link to the 15.8 kickoff page with the links to these items and the Verify Stage Direction page with discussion of our future work in the comments below the video. And you can always reach me at jheimbuck at gitlab.com or through comments on items with the group pipeline execution label in the GitLab project. So uh, I'm already sharing this my screen uh, showing our 15.8 planning issue, and we'll start with our theme. Um, so our theme for 15.8 is security and reliability. Uh, a couple of the goals that we want to accomplish towards that theme in the milestone are first meeting our reliability issue SLO. Um, we've again been making great progress here um, over the last couple of quarters and milestones. Um, really increasing availability for our endpoints, reducing our backlog of these kind of issues, um, and we're really burning it down, but it continues to be a top investment theme and a top priority for us as a group. Um, our second goal towards that security and reliability theme is uh, shipping that next iteration of the CI job token um, in uh, issue 375782. Um, and this is the UI to implement that new inbound uh, scope for the limited CI job token. Uh, we're doing this ahead of, and I've talked about this on a couple of the kickoff videos now, the 16.0 release, where we will be removing the non-limited CI job token capability and removing the outbound flow as well, and just settling on the inbound flow. So you as a project owner or a project maintainer can set which projects are allowed to trigger a pipeline using a CI job token uh, in yours. Uh, then future iterations of this, we're looking at being able to specify uh, what CI job token um, would have access to uh, different uh, permissions there. We have an epic for that, and I'll link to that in the comments below uh, for future work. Um, and then the last item I want to mention uh, that doesn't necessarily match up with the theme, so it's something we're really excited about um, around usability of the product, um, is this issue of adding custom name to pipelines. Uh, so this was broken out of a larger discussion and a couple of use cases that we identified from users where they want to specify the name of a pipeline. Um, either dynamically or statically uh, beforehand. And so this is the static use case. And I'm especially excited about this because uh, it's contributed from an internal team at GitLab who saw the need, saw the issue, and we were able to iterate together to come up with the solution um, of setting this new pipeline name uh, as part of the workflow uh, so that they can identify, and in this case, it's our engineering productivity group, um, pipelines that are running that are scheduled. So between filtering for a scheduled pipeline as the source and looking for the pipeline name that can quickly identify uh, this pipeline uh, in the list of pipelines um, separate from the others. Uh, so by default, this is on and available or will be on and available in the 15.8 milestone. Uh, it'll be behind a feature flag in 15.7. Um, and if you decide not to use it, you'll continue to see what you see today, which is the commit name for the pipeline that shows up uh, in the pipeline list. Or if you set it, you'll see the pipeline name there. Um, so now I want to walk through a couple of things uh, from Vitika, our product designer, uh, that she'll be focusing on in 15.8 Milestone. And the first is the solution validation around job filters. Um, so we've introduced job filters a couple of milestones ago uh, and want to get some feedback from users about how they're using it um, and our future iterations. Uh, or do those meet the needs and solve for the problems that the customers have? Uh, so it should be working through that. Uh, the next is working on design for setting that CICD minute limit for a project. Uh, we've been working with some open source contributors on this and really honed down and identified this need of being able to set a limit for a specific project uh, within their larger CICD minute quota, um, or for a self-managed user as well, being able to say this project can only consume so many minutes. Um, so the big need for them. Uh, and so Vitika is working through what that new eye would look like to actually set the limits and um, making sure that that experience is consistent with what already exists on self-managed for groups today. And then lastly is improving that workflow of finding the project to set a limit for. Um, if you have a namespace with a lot of projects, uh, you don't want to be scrolling through pages after pages uh, of things just to go find the thing to set a limit on or the project to set a limit on. Uh, so Vitika is going to be working on improving that workflow, making it more intuitive and easier, faster to find those limits. Uh, so we're so excited for 15.8. Um, and if any of these issues are interesting to you, feel free to give us a tag. You can always reach me at jheimbuck at gitlab.com or jheimbuck underscore gl uh, by tagging me in an issue. Thanks so much.